Oh, look at you. <laughs> of course. Of course. Where do you buy it like that? In the, not, not at a flea market. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. I'm Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. Mahalo Hi. for joining us. Please don't get us confused. Ever. We have a very special guest today so on the special. show. Um, this guy is, has a resume, boy. I'm going to try to get the best intro I can the for highlights. him. Yeah, he recently uh, was on Disney's Mulan. Mm -hmm. uh, should we just end there? <laughs> uh, you might have seen him on Netflix, uh, Marco Polo. He was in the movie uh, The Accountant in 2016. He was uh, in The Blacklist. He was on the Cubs series Golden Boy. Our guest today was also in the last season of Sons of Anarchy. Mm -hmm. He was the voice of Scorpion on Mortal Kombat. Uh, he's been the voice of some major campaigns like Call of Duty, Black Ops 2, Halo, Star Wars, to name a few. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Yuan. How are you, Ron? Hey, good, Hi. good. Thank you yeah. for having me. Did I do Did I do your uh, resume justice? Oh, Ooh, yeah. God. I was like, who is this guy? I want to meet him, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doing the show. You've been busy, haven't you? Yes, yes. Thank you. No, thank you for having me, guys. You, you, were you just in Hawaii? I was recently, I, I was just in Vancouver uh, for a new show called Kung Fu. Uh, really? But before that, yeah, but before that, I was on Big Island uh, with Jason Scott Lee. Now, now, wait a minute. Before we get to the Big Island, you Kung yeah. Fu, like the remake Kung Fu? Yes. Really? Yes. <sighs> that's, that's my time, that's man. Deep for you. That's what deep what for are you doing with Kung Fu? Can, can we you say, talk can about you it? Say? Can you talk about um, it? It's, I, I can't really speak on it, but mm. uh, it's, 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 it's a character that will reveal a mystery throughout the show. Okay. So, and for those yeah. who don't know about Kung Fu, it was the movie that Bruce Lee was supposed to have. Wow. Uh, but uh, what's his name? What's his name? I met him too. Carradine. Was, Carradine. David Carradine. Yeah, he, yes. he got it and uh, made him. Anyway, wow, I'm excited about this one. Are you filming it all in Canada? That was all in Vancouver, yes. And I got to reunite with uh, my castmate and actually dear friend, Tai Ma, who played the father of Mulan. Wow, oh, that's look at awesome. You guys. So, wait, is it, is yeah. it just, it's finished filming? Uh, no, no, no. They're still shooting. Oh, They're can I come shooting. watch? Uh, <laughs> so creepy. You got to quarantine 14 days in Vancouver. I'll, I'll quarantine. I had a, I'm not lying. I had a Kung Fu poster on my wall you know, as a growing up as a kid because huh. I love the show. It's weird because if you like Bruce Lee, most people who like Bruce Lee. didn't. Well, I didn't know about that. I was okay. only, you know, would six or seven years old. I didn't okay. know the whole drama well, behind it. Yeah, because what happened was Kung Fu basically took the show concept from Bruce. Yeah. And said he was he said he was too Asian. So they got David Carradine. Yes. And then he, he, you know, they made up some hype that he was one fifth Chinese, whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah. is this a, is this going to be a big budget movie? Is TV? What's it for? Uh, this is TV series. TV series. Series. Look at oh, you. Can I audition for something, oh Ron? My God. <laughs> That'd be my dream Stop. job right there. Just one line. I just want one line, you know? I'll even do extra work. Whatever. You want to kill somebody? Hey, you suck up to him. He's a director, too. I he know. That's projects. what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Look, Ron, everyone cast me as a Mexican or a Puerto Rican, but I'm from Hawaii. Yeah, anyway. Filipino. It, yeah, Filipino, Hawaiian, more Chinese. Versatile, bro. <laughs> more versatile, bro. Yeah, hopefully. So you, you were just on the Big Island. What were you doing with Jason Scott Lee? Uh, we were doing a film called The Wind and a Reckoning. It was a great script written by uh, John Fusco. And nice. like just everyone was such a sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. That was that was that was actually my first project. Uh, mm -hmm. sorry, first, <laughs> that was actually my first Rona Rona project. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We beeped it out. Speaking of the Ronas, since we're talking about the Ronas, uh good segue. Let's talk about you like after coming off of the Mulan gig and you guys were, you know, doing all of the press, a lot of y'all got sick, right? Because we can talk about it now. We couldn't talk about it then. But we can talk about it now, right? Yeah, it's um, we were all on the press junket in London, and you know we um, we got announced on stage for the premiere in London because when we went to London, there was only like less than a hundred cases, but by the time we landed, it was already like four hundred and wow. or something. So Disney didn't want to take a chance, so they canceled all the press lines, but they still showed the premiere, and you know. Uh, and then we, uh, the cast, the rest of the cast that made it out there, we had to go to, to the special Disney dinner. And I guess on the flight back, you know, they, we were, we were notified that, you know, you were exposed. Policy. Yeah. Basically we're so, so sorry to inform you. You're, you know, one of our executives tested positive for, and, um, and, you know, have to consider going into quarantine or you have to go into quarantine. So basically, yeah. I, and we knew it was kind of that dinner because I think me, Jason and Yosan were we chatting each other. And then at the same time, we all felt like 
Really? Uh, oh, it just uh, hit you. So we knew it was from that dinner that way, because if we all hit different times, like, you know, stuff, then it might've been like, we, one of us got it somewhere else, that kind of right. thing. But, but yeah, but, um, yeah, everyone, uh, except like Nikki and, you know, and her husband, like, we, you know, publicists, the makeup artists, like they all, everyone got hit. The only one that didn't was, 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 uh, the actress, Ife, who played Mulan. She must've been the chi, man. She, she, yeah. she, she liked that. She has, she has strong chi. Yeah. Is that like a Mulan uh, sword behind you? Uh, no, that is a spear. Spear. I'm spear. Why did I say sword? Cause you said sword. Is that a, is that a spear? Behind yeah. you? From, from the yeah. movie? Oh, nice. No, no, no. Not no, no, from, the not movie. Not from oh. Mulan. Yeah. That's his personal collection. <laughs> yeah. it, it, really, it really is actually a, a, a weapon from another film. It's actually something you wouldn't expect, Black Dynamite. But, but Weird. like, but, but yeah, but even if it was a weapon from Mulan, it, I would not say it was. <laughs> <laughs> not right now, anyway. We'll, we'll just talk about it later. Uh, we'll take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. Ron Yuan is hanging out with us. It's a Hawaii thing. Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHI THING. HEC Medical Clinic, Dr. Aries Oda, Hawaii's number one laser weight loss center for weight loss, reverse diabetes, and heart disease. Call today for your limited time special, only $37. Lose one to two inches instantly. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, Ron. Uh, you just finished uh, coming back from Canada. You've been traveling a lot, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, between uh, going to Hawaii and then, uh, yeah, Vancouver. And then, you know, I was also busy in L.A. You know, fortunately, like, I, I love voiceover, so I'm actually doing a couple of voiceover gigs for some really exciting project. One's ARC, the series, uh, the miniseries for Netflix. Mm. And the other one is Monkey King with Stephen Chow. Wow. Also for Netflix. Yeah, also for Netflix. And then uh, I'm also doing Warner Brothers' new animation for Mortal Kombat, playing uh, Sub-Zero. So no it's been way. a lot of fun. Man, you're busy. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Love you're it. busy. You do, you do a lot of voiceover stuff, I'm, like yeah. I mentioned in the intro. Uh, do you have like a, a studio in your home, or do you, are you going to studios to do all these voiceovers? Uh, I personally, like, I know a lot of people enjoy working at a home. I actually like going there, you know, and, uh, you know, as long as, you know, and, and everyone, every studio, they've been practicing, like, safe distancing and, like, gloves and, you know, whole yeah. spiel. And they build up all the Pexley glass for all the social distancing. And it's, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I've, it's it's been really safe. It's like know, the gym. Personally. You can't, you yeah. have to get, you got to go to the gym and work out because well, you feel better. Well, for him, especially because he got it bad. Like if you saw what his pictures were like, like he went from being like this beefy, like he's always been like a guy who could like mess you up. Um, <laughs> and then after he got bad and we were all really worried about How him. How many weeks did you have it? Uh, I got it extra long because for some reason, like I got hit with, uh, and they say people with the high fevers get the worst because they don't know like stuff can come back like in like eight months down the line you could be suffering something else like uh like there's a lot of mental stuff but yeah. for me it was like uh i had 104 fever and above for about eight or nine days straight. oh that's dangerous so, yeah. yeah he so, wasn't eating like he how much weight did you lose you lost like uh 60 yeah gosh i mean so i was crazy. i was in the er twice too so yeah. it was crazy because they wanted to intubate me and i didn't want to do that because there was such a high mortality rate and at that time you know the front line didn't know that like you know if we, you put two patients or more in a room that the other person's uh, the other person's strain could mutate the other so it could um. actually one can make the other worse and that's why a lot of frontline people were, were getting messed up too so so crazy yeah. well we're glad you're okay yeah and working yeah, thank you like, look at yeah. you you're just coming back what a comeback right yeah knock crazy. on wood knock on wood right. yeah thank Good you for you so you did um i want to talk to you about sons of anarchy <laughs> what a show first of all um Art Linson and John Linson produced that show. Yeah, good friends of mine. He's always in Hawaii. Uh, John. That's awesome. Yeah, what did you do? Tell everybody what you did on that show. I played a character named Ryu Tom, and me and uh, another actor, good friend Kenneth Choi, were like the two leaders of the Chinese triads for you know in the series. But Kenny had been on many seasons earlier, so yeah, that was I was just uh, put on last season. Did you watch the show? A... Yeah, my, my my husband based his yeah. whole life on that show. So, <laughs> yeah. I didn't even watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, yeah. He was like, oh my God, I love the show so much. I mean, it's not my skis, but yeah. I would watch it because... Because it was on and stuff? Yeah, and he was watching it and I want to be a good wife. 
No, what a nasty show, boy. Yeah, did, I mean, it was did, good did writing, he, though. But yeah, this is so you, was. Ron. Like, here's the thing. Like, Ron and I go way back. Like, uh-huh. he helped me move out of, like, two, three apartments. Like, Ron and I go way back in the Asian, like, world over uh-huh. there. And um, he knows where all the boyfriends are. He knows where all the bodies are buried. <laughs> um, but, like he's a theater person at heart like he's an actor people think oh you know he's a big guy who does stunts but he is like a true he and his brother are like true yeah. blue actors first um and sons of anarchy is like straight up that's all the writing like that's all yeah. about the writing. Oh, people great actors. die you mess people up you know but, tommy yeah. comes here all the time um what's his oh, last yeah. name uh, uh tommy uh, yeah uh, what's his name flanagan, flanagan. flanagan. Yeah. yeah so tommy yeah. comes here all the time and uh I don't know if I should say this, but he, he'll, I'll get a text and say, I'm in the island. Can you provide, provide me my medicine? <laughs> well, it's legal now, so <laughs> Well, not here. It's not oh, legal here oh, yet. Got yeah. it, got it, got it, anyway, got such it. a funny guy. Such a good guy. <laughs> so don't tell him I told you that. Yeah, or the rest of the world. Don't, any, of, any of you guys tell him either. That was, that was actually one of the hardest shows for me. I mean, in a fun way, because every guy smoked on that show. Oh, really? You had quit. I had quit for three years. Ooh. I'm sorry. When was... you say you had quit for three years, are you no longer acquitted? It 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 it. it? <laughs> <laughs> are you back? Did on? you jump back on the what? wagon <laughs> after the Rona? Oh, we're gonna have a conversation. Oh no, 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 not oh, after this, the Rona. Oh, this is uh-huh. this is in but, time but, and space back then. But, but after when I went to China to direct Step Up, it was so stressful for me. Uh, I, I picked up smoking. Got Plus, it. when you're in Beijing. You're, it's like it's just breathing in the air. Right. It's, it's like you're smoking like you, already. It's yeah. like you smoked half a pack. So I'd yeah. rather just smoke, actually enjoy <laughs> no it, than be like smoking a pack a day. When so, you're in Beijing, yeah. it's like you just, you are smoking crystal meth. Every but, yeah, but on, but on Suns, everyone was so nice. But every time we had a break, like Charlie or Ty were just like, yeah, you want one? I'm like, come on, Ron, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Wait, don't go anywhere. Save that thought. You're watching uh, It's a Hawaii Thing. We're hanging out with Ron Yuan. At Western Exterminator, our pest-free 365 solution works year-round to protect your home from unwanted pests. Choose pest-free with Western Exterminator. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. This show is brought to you by Atlas Construction, Hawaii's number one builder for eight years in a row. Call them at 808-951-9500 for the quality and service you deserve today. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Uh, we're talking with Ron here. You do a lot of voiceover stuff, and our, uh, our editor is a fan. Of What's the name of the show? It's a game. Oh, it's a game. What's the name of the game? Guild Wars 2. Do you, do you do that one? Yeah, it was uh, that one I did for like uh, on and off for four years because I was brought on the beginning. It takes that long to make a game, but uh-huh. but it was a fun character. I forgot the name. It was it's a big blue Chewbacca looking thing. Blue Chewbacca a, thing. What's the name, a, Joe? <laughs> oh oh. He's all excited. But we'll, we'll we'll introduce you guys after so he can Got come it. say hi to you. Okay. Uh, okay. You know I do voiceover stuff. What do you you do? Uh, you have like a voice agent? He has an how everything agent. He's a star. I know. I'm asking how I want to learn. Okay. I want to learn. <laughs> Yeah, she's actually like my second mom, Arlene Thornton. I want to give a shout out. She's incredible. She's been in the business for so many years and, you know, she's got mad respect and I, I just love her. She's yeah, she takes good care of me. Hasn't have... she been your person like forever, ever? Yeah, she's been my voiceover from day one. So forever, does she ever. does just your voiceover work? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have that you have a radio deep raspy that um uh, what's his name? And, Earl Jones. But he also James Earl Jones. You guys are from the voice. east. Like he can go east coast when he wants to. Yeah. He can go deep. Like almost a Jew, but not quite a Jew, but yeah. like almost Bronxy Jew. I mean, if, yeah. if this was just my show, we would just talk about voiceovers because I do. Ra- I've done radio for 25 years, and right. I and I do like vac- uh, commercial voiceover, but not like what you do. You do more acting. Right? Do you do everything? Mm-hmm. Do you do everything, or is it just uh, acting voiceover? Uh, yeah, kind of, I mean, from animation to video games, to, uh-huh. uh, trailers, to commercials, to, um, and to features like dubbing over people's voices and stuff. Really? Yeah. So awesome. Yeah. He speaks yeah. Chinese fluently. Oh, do you? Yeah. Mandarin, Cantonese, which uh, one? Mandarin. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I like to tell the story about, cause his parents used to own a Chinese restaurant way out in the Val, right? Mm-hmm. Deep Val. Mm-hmm. And yeah. we all went one day with, um, 
what is your boy's name that put the ketchup on the food and you almost like <laughs> put ketchup upset. on Chinese Wes- food? Wesley. <laughs> Who, who was it? I got Wesley, so pissed. Wesley Snipes. We were there oh, yeah. with Wesley no. Snipes. And I was dating a, a guy at the time who was trying to get Wesley to do this, his movie. And we got uh, in. And he, you're friends with Wesley. So you guys all yeah. hung and whatever. And we got there. Yeah. And he's all this big round table. And he was like, where the ketchup at? And like he shot a look. And the mom was doing that Joy Luck Club look at Ron. And Ron's get like looking at Wesley here. like, why you got to why you gotta do that at my mom's restaurant? And wow. I'm like, oh, my God. A, <laughs> a kung fu fight's about to so, happen right here in the deep valley. Wesley, I gotta say this, I gotta defend Wes. Wes really knew better. He was messing with me. Right. He, was oh, he, was me. Messing with he was trying to get me work get my mom worked up with me. So I was like, dude, what are you doing? He's just like, I'm just messing, I'm just messing. Do, do you guys still have does she still have the restaurant? Uh no, they retired, so they're uh, moving to Vegas and then um they were there for a while and then after my mom passed, I moved my dad back in with me about three and a half years ago. Oh, okay. Wesley's making a comeback, huh? He's on uh, uh, with yeah. Eddie Murphy. I hope so, man. I, I love that guy. He's so talented. And, you know, uh, yeah, I'm excited for him. I'm excited for yeah. that film, too. Where's yes. Woon? Where's Woon these days? Woon is who? is somewhere between uh, um, Vegas, Texas, and uh, here he's, he's so got places if, everywhere. Yeah. like imagine Samoans and, right? and Atlanta sorry in Atlanta so yeah. like these two boys like we all hung out Chris Lee like that it was like a whole heady time in the 90s 90s into the early 2000s and this guy right here he's like intimidating yeah AF right he had a guy bigger than him who hung out with him named Woon. <laughs> and the two of them were like linebackers. Like everywhere they went, the seas would just part. You know, it's like nobody wanted to mess with these boys. Are you the two biggest Chinese guys in the world? <laughs> no, 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 no. Woon was Korean, but oh, Korean. I, I was I was his mini-me. Okay? Oh, yeah. So he was like 6'1", 250 pound, the biggest Korean brother. He was a, you know, a, a first Divi- division one college uh linebackers so okay linebackers, and they did so. stunts and you know the, yeah. all that kind of stuff sweetest sweetest guy like a teddy bear yeah. but you look at General. him and you'd be like Samoans would yeah. be worried yeah. is so, what I'm saying? <laughs> so brooke mentioned theater did you start in theater or did you do stunts uh no i started in theater i i've been doing theater ever since i was like in second grade wow yeah, yeah. what was the that first was- uh, gig you did got that got you paid your first paycheck oh wow that would be I thought you meant first gig that I did. I, I was going to say um, Scrooge. Okay, okay wait. Um, think think about that. i got to take a quick break. We'll be okay, right back. Okay. Think about what it was. It was a commercial. Okay. Was it a movie? Uh, okay. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. Let the experts at King Windward help you out on your current loan or lease into a new vehicle. Visit kingwindwardnissan.com. Check out wearekupuna.com to learn more about all the resources the state of Hawaii has to service our kupuna. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Ron Yuan is hanging out with us today. Uh, are you full Chinese, Ron? Yes. Yep. And uh, you speak Cantonese, you said? No. Mandarin. Mandarin, yeah. Mandarin. Yes. And you, your first acting gig that you got paid was? I got my SAG card on a really bad film called Kickboxer 2. <laughs> <laughs> Kickboxer, Kickboxer 2? Wait, wow. Kickboxer first... was big, right? <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, that, but my first play at a really young age, it was a dare from a childhood friend and it was a Christmas play called Scrooge. So, oh. and I just remember I fell in love with it because I didn't have any lines. I was the ghost of, uh, which one's the scary one? Christmas, the Pass. Christmas Pass. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was the one with the hood, with the finger. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, like he's dying. So that's all. But, but during rehearsals, I just watched them all do that. I was just going, I want to have lines. I want to, so from then on, I was hooked. So, oh, that's his hook. That's yeah. what got, do you do any Chinese movies? Uh, yeah, I've done, uh, one, I think my first one was in 94 or 93. It was with Andy Lau um, called The Adventurers. Uh, the director was Ringo Lam. Yeah. Okay. And that's like in China, in Chinese. Everybody's Chinese and it's a Chinese thing. Yeah, that was Canto. So I had to work on my Canto. Oh, and then okay. that was shot in Hong Kong, Vietnam, San Francisco, uh, actually like five five or six places wow and then like step up china like how does that how did that happen like what you... oh uh yeah so my manager at the time knew one of the producers uh and she was running sony china and we were trying to get together on another project and then it kind of felt that we both got busy and then two years later 
she called Jay up thinking, hey, would Ron be interested in directing this? And Jay, not knowing my taste, was like, oh, yeah, I don't know. It's a <laughs> dance movie, whatever. But, but like, he didn't know that I'm a huge dance fan. Yeah, so, yeah. Dance movie fan. So so when he called me, he's like, yo, dude, don't get mad, you know. But, you know, he called and said, you know, would you be interested in Step Up? Like, you know, it's, not, it's nothing you don't, you know. I was just going, wait, wait, what? Step Up, Step Up? He's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, be interested. like, really? I'm like, yeah, man. <laughs> like, as long as we, like, what can, do I have you say in the story and all this stuff? So, so yeah, that's kind of how. I mean, and you speak, so you guys shot it there, obviously, in China. So he's like, and, you're easy peasy, walk out the block and just add water. You're talking to everybody in Chinese and you're like directing and it's all fine. You hire a whole crew from China? How does it go? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I brought out uh, my DP. Uh, we, we shot it in Beijing, but I had to go around like, parts of China to interview and audition certain casts. But um, but yeah, we brought out an American dance team. They were the championship team. They were incredible. They're like the best dancers in the world. And then as far as department heads, it was mainly it was mainly my DP and I brought out a fight coordinator that I work with in New York. That's Zach. That's, yeah, who's awesome. That's awesome. I got to go watch it yeah. now. Yeah. I've, I've totally forgot about oh, Step Up. Yeah, I'm Michelle, our, one of our producers. Man, you're just racking up all of the of fans our, up here. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> you really are. Millennials love you, buddy. So many things. What, what are you working on right now, Ron? Well, after Kung Fu, I'm, I might... Well, the reason why I was able to do Kung Fu was because my film that I'm supposed to be directing for Universal and Netflix got pushed back three times because of the Rona. But um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I remember that time. Um, but um, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's another lore of, uh, story from the lore of the 47 Ronin. But this time we're taking it three, 400 years in the future, kind of in a cyberpunk Blade Ooh. Runner. What? And we're, we're going to introduce the new culture of samurai and ninja. So it's going to be a really Wow, fun that'll be yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah. He and then moved my, he moved yeah. my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> like he literally moved my bed. Are you He's shooting so that all weird. in? Are you shooting that all in, in L.A.? Are you gonna go travel? No, no, no. That's gonna be Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Oh, I just was there. I, that's a what a great city, man. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's been pushed back because you know of, of yeah. Yeah. everything. Yeah. That's yeah. Happening. yeah. Well, let but me know if there's I, any parts I can audition wow. for. Wow, you don't Definitely. speak the language or any of that kind of it's stuff. It's in the future. Oh, okay. So yeah. they speak future language. No, Ron's gonna over voice uh, overdub me. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, wait. So let's talk about your brother for a second because he'll be mad otherwise. Roger. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. We we, we have only to, have a minute. We're yeah. gonna, you have to go to YouTube to find out about his brother. Yeah, we got much more to talk to you about. So you can get the extended version of this show on YouTube. But we got some gifts for you. Oh, where's yeah. mine? <gasps> where's my gift? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Um, Brooke and I have a little contest. So I have a box of goodies from Hawaii that's all sweets. Spicy. Really good stuff. And she has the stuff. spicy and hot Wasabi stuff. Peas. I so got you, boy. you just get to choose one. Which one would you spicy. like? Spicy. Oh, I, I can't get both. No. <laughs> what, hey, oh, Ron. Wait, 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 wait. You uh, had the Rona. Ron, you can have both. We're going to send you both. Yeah, you had the Rona. You we're going to send both. you both because I'm going to use a favor later. Oh, wow. <laughs> and that is Hollywood yeah, in a 47. nutshell. Yeah, Remember, yo, yo. <laughs> Remember I gave you candy? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Ron. You're amazing in representing the Asian community, of course. And I'm so proud of you, and I don't even know you. Uh, but congratulations on all your success. Thank Thanks you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Check us Thank out on you. the long version of YouTube. You, it's a Hawaii thing. <laughs> Welcome back to It's a Hawaii thing, the extended version. The Ron Yuan YouTubes. is hanging out with us. Uh, for those of you who are watching us on YouTube, please subscribe, hit the button, and then also leave a uh, message for Just us. Just nice if you can. ones. Yeah. So we're talking about your brother. What is what does your brother do? Roger. Go ahead, tell everybody about Roger. Uh, Roger, my older brother, has been killing it too. Like he was on also on Mulan with me, but a lot of people don't recognize him because he was in the scene when Jason first get, gets introduced. He had a <laughs> full on, like like Hasidic beard. Going oh, down. Really? But you couldn't even recognize. But but you know, it was, he gave a speech and you know, and he's been killing it. He also was uh, had a big um, uh, part of Dune. He was he designed all the fight action and he played one of the parts. In the with cast. Zendaya. Yes. That yes. Dune? Okay, so that Roger Dune. was in sh a little movie called Shanghai Noon back in the day, movie, day yeah, yeah. with like, you yeah. know, early Lucy Liu and I, I Owen think, uh, Wilson. I think my uncle was on that one too. So he played the, was it the bad guy? I mean, yeah, did you all play the bad guys because you're Asian? Was that, it was, it was, was that the era? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He was the main villain on Shanghai, dude. He kidnapped Lucy Liu, yeah. Yeah, so, um, so Roger was, you know, and then 
everything happened in the world and whatever. And then they moved to Ireland, oh, okay. where his wife is from. And so, he, but he continued to work, still works, and everything. And these two boys, these two East Coast brothers, were just killing it in the town. You That's know? so awesome. Tag teaming. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> where did you guys grow up? Uh, New York. In, in, in New York. In New York City? Like what part? Yeah, all over Manhattan. To, okay. Uh, 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 I mean, when I was born, they were, they were in Jackson Heights, but then all over Manhattan and a little in Westchester County. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Yeah, and like full-blown thespians, I might Well, add. I mean, there's a lot of Chinese in New York, so it's not a surprise. But... Yeah, but then you move out to L.A., right? Yeah. And you start doing Hollywood things, and everybody thinks, oh, they're just fresh off the boat. They're like from China or whatever. Right, right. They're like kung like... fu stars, you know, like whatever. And you're like, no, man, I came out of theater. Like, like what I are you listen, talking about? I listen to Biggie and, yeah, and like, Tupac. Yeah, like I can do Chekhov. Like, what? <laughs> when, you, when you were growing up, who was the martial artist that you looked up to? Oh, Bruce. Yeah, I mean, Bruce. Bruce, honestly, when I when I first watched as a kid watching films, like it was like people always trip out. I told them what who inspired to get into acting. One was Bruce Lee because it was like an actor that looked like us and was yeah so charismatic and so just you know everything. But but it was also Sidney Poitier. Really, so, so Sidney Poitier. I remember like who's coming to dinner and and two sir with love and. And yeah. like I just saw because, you know, when, where I grew up in New York, I grew up in a predominantly black neighborhood. So it was like people that looked like us and that were doing their thing. And I was like, wow, I hope I can do that one day. So, yeah, yeah they definitely I, inspired I'm me. a I'm a huge Bruce Lee fan, too. I had Kung Fu poster and Bruce Lee poster, but I got to meet him as a kid. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Which was interesting because of Chuck Norris. My mom was friends with Chuck Norris. But when now, now if you didn't know Jason. And when Bruce, that Bruce Lee movie came out that Jason, Jason Scott did, Lee. Jason Scott Lee, we're gonna get what it, did you think we're of, gonna get of the movie? We're going to get into some ish right now. Because what did you think of the movie? You were one of the ones that was new high. You guys were a little upset when Jason got the role. He was one of the ones. Really? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I wasn't upset, actually, at, at Jason, because I, I actually, I think you might have remembered it wrong. I really love Jason's performance. I'm one of the guys that, this is going to sound blasphemous, because I know a lot of younger generations, you know, really were inspired by dragon i i had problems certain problems with the film oh uh, with the film okay, okay. yeah what did yeah, you because... what did what didn't you like because i loved it i thought it was i thought he did an amazing job portraying Jay- him yeah i yeah. thought jason did an amazing job i just how it started out like like if you knew about bruce's life you knew he was so anti like wire work and all this stuff. yeah and, yeah yeah so for I know me it's mean. like so right off the beginning like i wish they really touched on the true aspect of his life because he took martial arts because he was a child star yeah. and he was and and other kids were jealous so they used to beat him up so he used to get into fights every day that's why he started taking martial arts and that i think is a really rich story because then later you find out how he yeah. started taking dance class and yeah. was an accomplished dancer and it's just there's there's all this rich stuff you know that that i still feel it hasn't been done right yet yeah. but mm. but 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 i thought jason did a great job and i thought certain elements of the film were great it's just certain other things i know i feel like bruce would have rolled over you know well i guess it, the whole hollywood i mean you know yeah. like the movie pearl harbor right they had to make it hollywood right any movie yeah. that has and and we're connected to bruce in a sense that's yeah. why you feel like that, right? Yeah. But I agree yeah. with you on that. But, but but I love Jason in it, and I love you know Jerry Boutique, super nice guy. Um, you know, it's just I mean, this is just the critical filmmaking thing yeah. side, and you know, no offense to Rob Cohen, all this stuff because I'm sure like I was like back then, like I read everything there was to yeah. about Bruce since I was like seven years old. Like I would uh. read, I would buy everything that was Bruce, you know. So, so that's why it's a little of that. But you know, this is nothing to take away from the inspiration of like the youth that don't know the true history of Bruce, but were inspired to the film. That I'm psyched about, you know. So, yeah, I just want to clarify that. It, before, uh, when he just finished filming the movie, Bobby McGee's was still open, mm. the nightclub, and a friend of mine when I were sitting in the club, and he walked in with a mutual friend. And they were like, hey, this is Jason. And that's when I first met him. Yeah. And uh, he was shredded. Like, he just got, came off the set, like, two weeks, just finished. And uh, my friend goes, oh, this is Jason Scott Lee. And I go, oh, yeah, where are you from? He's like, oh, I'm from Pearl City. And he goes, he just did a movie. I go, yeah, what movie? He goes, Bruce Lee. And I'm like, Bruce Lee, I would have known about this. You know, because it was real hush-hush. Well, I'm in Hawaii, so everything's yeah, hush-hush. You find out everything yeah, late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, really? Yeah. They just did a movie about Bruce Lee? And I thought, how's this guy going to pull it off? Mm. That's all I kept thinking. Is, how's this guy going to pull it off, this local boy? Yeah, you, yeah, know? you know. He you killed know, it. Uh, he killed it. And and you know who I, how I met Jason? Um, oh, how'd you meet a, Jason? 
so when I first moved from New York to LA, I, you know, to pay the bills, I had to, you know, maitre d' at this restaurant called Mr. Chow. So I was mad. Mr. <laughs> Chow. I forgot about that. That's, that's right. A, that's a yeah, fancy so, restaurant. Chris Lee yeah, used to so, go there a lot. <laughs> yeah. So I have tons of stories from that place. But anyways, so our mutual friend, um, who I've been talking to over the years, uh, Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son, uh -huh. actually, actually brought Jason in because he had just finished the deal. So that oh. wow. going dragon. So Brandon was the one said, "This is Jason. He's playing my dad." <gasps> wow. I was like, Yo, I was That's like, yeah. So me, deep. me and Jason talked about that even when we were in Hawaii, like That's you know, so going crazy. way back. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys the same age? Around yeah, around the yeah. same age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm. I didn't. I forgot that you were at Mr. Chow because that was like Chris Lee's hang. Yeah. Like, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, but like Chris like, had <laughs> his own party. That's a popular spot. restaurant. Was, it was everyone's hang. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's like a shishi place. You know, it's like yeah. they don't have a menu. Like yeah. Ron just has to tell you what to order. <laughs> kind of have you? Well, yes, have you? Uh, are. <laughs> have Sorry. you ever discussed with you and Jason like doing something together? Like you guys own movie together? Yeah, I think, you know, there was some indie, uh, some indie stuff. I mean, even recently, like, I think, uh, but he hurt himself, you know, Jay, it was uh, Paper Tigers that I love being a part of that film. But, but then, and then when in the reckoning, it was actually Jason that reached out for me and told the filmmakers and, and stuff. So, so yeah, like, you know, and, and I have other projects that I'm thinking about Jason for too, for, for one of the leads. So it's like, yeah, I mean, Jason's awesome. You know? It's yeah. all in the Ohana. Yeah. I love no. it. Yeah. I think it's yeah. cool when, when everyone sticks together. And when all the yeah. boats rise yeah. together. No, yeah. for real. It's awesome. Uh, you know? I'm so psyched for Jason on his new show. I think it's great because I, I think the writing's good and I think it's a great father part, man. Right. I, I think he's, he's going to touch a lot of hearts mm -hmm. in this part. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you like doing? What do you like doing in front of the camera or behind the camera? Which one's more ha fun for you? Oh, man, I, I actually, honestly, I love both. Um, I, I feel like I love working with actors. I love going through that journey process because for me, I've gone through stuff to find like the essence of characters and stuff. So I love going on that journey with other actors. And I love, you know, getting into like, you know, character and story points. But but I think I think equally I love them both. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but he's a triple yeah. threat because he can write, he yeah. can direct, and, and he stunt, can act. And, like he's like for real. And he can dance. He's a quadruple. <laughs> <laughs> can you really dance, or are oh, you? Oh, you just a like fan dancing. Fan of dance. Yeah, can you dance? Uh, you no, I was, I was actually a, a sought of a after -boy. like a little back, bit of back, a b boy. Back, back in the day, I was a sought after club dancer. A like, were you? A little bit of a b boy. Yeah, yeah. Little bit you know, of for, a b boy. For music videos and stuff, mm -hmm. but I didn't know. Because anybody. Anybody who can do karate can dance. Oh, really? Okay. Except me. Oh. <laughs> Shucks, I, was yeah, I don't know about that. I know a lot of guys that can, are great martial can artists, but they no, can't no, just okay. dance worth a lick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That's so funny. I know you've done a lot of things. Anybody uh, you really want to work with? James Cameron. James Cameron. Really? That yeah. hasn't happened yet? That's so weird. Like. No, it almost happened on Avatar, but I just they called for a veil, and I just said yes to... Siren. It was a series I did oh, in uh, right. Canada about predator mermaids. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So I was bummed about that oh, one. Man. Well, next time you do, you have your own project, please come film in Hawaii, okay? Definitely. There's, definitely. there's a lot of stuff it. coming to Hawaii this year, but so it, much we need more. We need more. There's so much talent here, and they all keep bringing people in. I was like, man, we got a lot of Asians here to make our own movies, <laughs> right? You know that. Yeah, isn't, isn't, isn't like The Rock doing like the story of uh, King... Uh, uh, They've been talking about it for a long yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. They can't... You know what's the problem is it, it's... Uh, no one can agree. Hawaiians are like, what well, you do on this? Uh, well, you can't do that. We, you lot, know what I mean? There's, there's a lot of, a lot of disagreements. There's a lot of baggage. We can't just that. get it together, the Hawaiians. But he's doing his own TV show about his early his, life. It's yeah. not filming here, though. It's not, no, it's yeah. not. But he shoots everything here. He oh, yeah. And, that's, here. and the one that's playing him is a friend of mine. He was a castmate of mine on Marco Polo. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, I got I to gotta go yeah. watch Marco Polo. Yeah, is that you haven't not, seen it yet? You no, haven't seen it yet? I that's haven't seen it yet. That's not the one. What's his name is in with you? Is it's not the one that? What is the dude I used to we used to hang out with? The one from Falling on Sne um, Cedar Snow. What is his name? Rick. Oh, oh, Rick. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Rick was on the show too. We. Oh God, me and Rick. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, we Rick all got Rick story. Rick we got, Ewan we got stories. stories. <laughs> we all we got, got Rick story. Ewan stories. But Rick was on Marco Polo, right? Yes, we, we had a lot of my scenes were with him too. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 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 That's a whole nother yeah. show, Rick Young. How long do you train to do a, <laughs> how, how long uh, do you get in shape to do a, a show that you're doing fight, fight stuff? 
Do you do you like a camp for a year, nine months? Uh, no, no, no. It doesn't take that long. But it, what's funny is that like most of the shows, it's been a running joke the last couple of years. Like every time, you know, even Milan, like to to Marco Polo, people are just like, "Dude, Ron, you're not doing any action. You're just." talking <laughs> just like, yeah. just, i've ascended uh, to the next layer i don't have to do that anymore I just I, but, it, but, but brooke to the point where i do miss it, it's like i'm like why, why am i just getting I? i'm uh. just getting monologues all the time i'm the monologue guy i'm the monologue guy i just want to just <laughs> throw a couple of lines and blah, 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 you know but now it's just like yes uh, <laughs> you're the boss yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us Thanks ron for coming on the show you just buddy. got home today right from somewhere yes yeah, yeah from canada oh, from canada yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming well, on the show. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I hope Thank to meet you, you soon me. in person. If you're ever in Hawaii, please come in the studio. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And guys, we'll send definitely. you your two gift boxes. Yeah, because you deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it. Yeah, and I'm and Thank I'm glad you. you uh you beat the Rona. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one, man. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. That was a rough one, but yeah. thank you guys. Thank are you, so are you much. on uh, social media? Do you do the social yep. media thing? What yeah. are they? What uh, can they follow I'm you? Hor- on? I'm horrible at it, but yeah, my it's name okay. Ron Yuan on Instagram. And okay. Twitter. I like, yes, you can tell by the way I'm saying it. I'm just horrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll follow you. Yeah. Everybody follow you. Thank you yeah. so much, and congratulations on all your success. Keep representing, man. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Because I'm an eighth Chinese, so I'm proud of you. <laughs> Make sure you uh, leave a comment down below. Also, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for yes. watching. It's a Hawaii thing. It's a-